Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how hip sort works, which uses uh, hip operations to do the sorting, which is very efficient. So let's see. So given a list of uh, random comparable keys, in this case, there are seven keys. Um, we actually try to represent this, this into a binary tree. And if you actually look at the binary tree, it's not a heap yet because some of the parents have keys that are not greater than the children ones. So the first task is to make this into a heap. So we visit every non-leaf node. So let's visit two and compare it against two other children, so four and six, and find the maximum and do the swap. So we do swap with six. Make sure you do the swap on the list too. And that's done. So now move on to five. Uh, the maximum key of the children is seven. So we do the swap. Okay, so we are done syncing for that level now. So we move on to the upper level, which is a root. So three gets compared to six and seven. Seven is the maximum, so swap. And now we compare three against five and one. Five is the maximum, so swap. So once we have done this, then this binary tree all of a sudden became a heap. So now we can actually start doing the sorting. So once this is done, the next step is to do the swap, the rightmost leaf with the root node and sync. And once the rightmost leaf is swapped, then we try to consider that's invisible from the heap. So let me show you what I mean. Um, so given the rightmost leaf, right now is one, we do the swap with the root node. And now the rightmost leaf, um, we consider this invisible. And the root node, which is one in this case, now has to be synced uh, to satisfy the heap properties. So compared with six and five, six is the maximum. So we do the swap and move on. One is again, again compared to four and two, four is the maximum, so do the swap. So syncing is done. Now the next one, we actually uh, try to swap three with the root node, which is six. So do the swap. And now six is invisible because they are already in order. So um, three now has to be synced. Four and five is compared, so five is the maximum, so swap. Then this syncing is done, so move on to two, get swapped to the root, so five and two are swapped. Now we move on to the root and do the syncing, so four is the maximum, so four and two is swapped. And two, this is done now. So we move on to one, which gets um, swapped to the root. And it has to be synced, so 3 is the maximum, so 3 and 1 gets swapped. Okay, move on. The rightmost leaf is 1, so which gets swapped to the root node. And it actually has to be synced, so 1 and 2 gets swapped in this case. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is we now try to swap the root node and the rightmost, which in this case 1 and 2. So we do the swap, and now everything is in order. So once we walk through the entire node, then we have a list that it is sorted in ascending order.